In this video, I'd like to direct your attention to four major enhancements we've made to to-dos or task management in ManagePro 9.0. It'll save you time, help make sure you keep your documentation current, and the coordination across your team optimized. So let's get started. First of all, working with the overall to-do list, which in ManagePro is the user data list. I'd like to point out that to-dos that are due on today, in this case 12.4, are backlit with yellow for easier recognition. Very helpful, for, especially for someone like me where I have dozens of to-dos on any given day. Second thing I'd like to point out is the to-do list or this grid view is now editable. In the past, if you wanted to change a date, you needed to double click on a particular record, go to the details view to actually ch make changes to those fields. Now you can do it right within the grid view. Just click on that view, pop a screen, and away you go. Third thing I'd like to point out is that the screen supports multiple sorts. The to-do list by definition or default uh, display is sorted based on your due date. You can also add other sorts. For instance, if I wanted to add additional sort of priority, just hold your shift key down and then click on one or more additional columns to sort in those as well. The second area I'd like to call your attention to is in the right-click menu area. First of all, in the import area, you, if you have your to-dos currently in a spreadsheet of sorts or an Outlook email, you can import them directly into ManagePro on the to-do list. What I most want to call your attention to is the Save As function. Any to-do, even event or progress update record can be duplicated as any one of the other three record types by using your right-click Save As function. In this case, if I have a to-do and I complete it and I realize, wow, this should be entered as a progress update as well, instead of having to cut and copy and paste, just right-click on highlighting the to-do and then click Progress Update and automatically attaches a progress update to the same goal this to-do is attached to. The third feature has to do when working within a comments field in a to-do. Let's open this one up. But this applies also to notes, uh, events, and progress as well. Many times a to-do isn't completed in a single action step and it's helpful to have a history. We've made that accessible simply by right-clicking and choosing the option Insert Timestamp. That plugs in the date and time and who's entered it and allows you to plug in a helpful comment as well. The fourth and last feature to cover with you becomes really important when you're dragging an email from Outlook as a progress update, but it applies to any comment field. Let's open up a progress update and I'll start there. Here's a typical progress update. It gives a nice summary, details specifically what the issues are, and does a nice job saying what the next steps are. But there's a problem. The problem is, is those next steps are buried in a progress update. That's great for documentation, but bad for follow-up. If you're like me, got a lot of stuff going on today, I will typically not remember that these next steps were embedded in a progress update. So we've got a solution for that. When you're in a progress update, make sure when you're in the comment field, double click so you go to the RTF editing mode. Then highlight or parse the text you'd like to turn into, in this case, a to-do. Right click, create item, select to-do. Pops the text you've highlighted in the comments field, you can title it as you wish, due date, and you're good to go. You have the same feature available to you when you're dragging and dropping email. Let's do that just for a second. I'm going to go to my Outlook folder, pulling in an email that comes over, hold my left mouse button down, I'm going to drag it and attach it to a goal here, a small format production as a progress update. Click OK. Inevitably, many of my emails actually have embedded to-dos in the context of the correspondence. So in this case, uh, screencast upload procedures to the database, I need to check that. So I can just highlight this, first double click to go to the RTF editor, then highlight it, right click, create item, to-do. Again, it's going to create that to-do for me, lets me tile as, as I wish, put a start date in, I don't lose it, no details slip through the cracks, save changes. Enjoy. In fact, I hope you find the new features in ManagePro 9.0 very helpful. And if you need more training than providing our videos, contact us to schedule your own personal training via web-based screen sharing and phone.